lessons from the Revolutionary War. I read the book Sophia's War, which is about Sophia Calderwood striving to save her country. And the first life lesson that I learned from that book is in order to live life happily, you have to persevere. This is because when <laughs> Sophia's brother William passed away, and she was very distressed and upset because she didn't get to say goodbye and they were related. But she persevered and she became stronger because of it. I can relate this to my own life because I was severely bullied when I was younger and became very upset because of it. But I became stronger because of that experience, just like Sophia became stronger after her brother passed away. <laughs> this is Laxon and he is very, very depressed. My current event is love equality. Love equality has to deal with the revolution because of the standing strong aspect. A year ago from today, love equality did not exist. In June of 2015, it was legalized. This is because all of the LGBT community persevered and fought for what's right so that they can live happily. The second life lesson from the Revolutionary War is be proud of who you become and strive to be better. This is because <laughs> Sophia became a strong lady thanks to her brother's passing, but she knew she still had to save her country. And the only way to do that was because she was one of the only people who knew about Andre and Arnold's plan to take over West Point. And I can relate this to my own life because if you know, I want to become a baker when I grow up. I find joy in pleasing people with <laughs> sweet and delicious treats. <laughs> but I still need to learn a lot. I want to master Kate and then eventually work. Life lesson relates to current events is because any leader needs to conform to their citizens' needs. They really have to prioritize and understand that one thing is a major priority. They can't just handle everything at once. And then my third life lesson is the only way to get things done is to do them yourself. This is because Sophia has to save her country. As I said earlier, she's one of the only people who knows about this plan since she is a spy. And then how can I relate this to my own life and how basically anybody can relate this to their own life is group projects. Group projects, I hate them, but yet I like them sometimes, but the main reason why I hate them it's because people in our society don't know how to take responsibility for themselves, so eventually I have to get stuck with all the work. Why is everything that typed? It's supposed to be me. Um, well, I don't recall you saying that, but I did, so I guess I'll do it myself. My second current event is presidential candidates making promises to their country and their country citizens. In order for candidates to conform to the citizens' needs, they need to earn their trust. This is usually made by making promises and hopefully keeping them, unlike some other people. <coughs> My fourth life lesson is be careful of what you do and say because actions have consequences. This is for Andre's actions who revealed him as a spy and later got him hung. However, Sophia's actions, even though that she was a spy, she never got hung. Anybody can relate this to you know, their own lives because people take things the wrong way. And I have been at fault at this. I hate my neighbors. They were always mean to me. And when I was younger, I was stupid and I kept on playing with them because I had nobody else to play with. And I went in one of my neighbor's basements one day and we played cops and robbers. There were two sisters, one one year older than me and the other one year younger than me. You know, although that doesn't really matter. I forgot to mention that we are going to call the younger sister Kayla. That's not her name. That is nothing near her name. However, we are just going to call her that for privacy reasons and so that it makes more sense later on in the video. Just to clarify. Okay. But they both you know, told themselves that they were going to be the cops and forced me into being the robber even though I didn't want it. And they both had those gator grabbing, I mean, grabber thingies. And I asked if I could have one because usually robbers have guns or weapons or whatever too. And they said, um, well, we don't have anything else. Yeah, all lies. So I was halfway into the safe and I, well, the safe zone, I should say. 
and I had a sweater on that, I mean sweatshirt, sorry, a sweatshirt on that day, and one of the girls took that gator grabber, and she denied that she was going for my spine, and said that she was going for my hood, and she jabbed my spine, and I have back problems now, just like every other person in my family. So, uh, I just love my life. But to all of you guys, don't be a Kayla. Today, as a current event, we have something called social media, which can lead to a very powerful positive or negative influence. We have platforms such as YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, which can lead to dangerous consequences, such as getting fired from a job or going into a big drama fest like Australian model Athena O'Neill happened to fall into just a couple months ago in November because she was ranting about social media, which is very powerful. The fifth lesson and the theme of the book Sophia's War is stand for what you believe in and you'll become strong because of it. This is because Sophia stood up to Andre and he was saying that William shouldn't be taken prisoner because he didn't do anything wrong and Andre and he took him prisoner anyway. But Sophia eventually became a very strong young lady. And as I said earlier, I was bullied a lot in the past. But I stood up against it and became strong because of it. Can't wait for science class today. This is blows it's so cool. <laughs> oh man, my glasses are wobbly. Good thing I have my handy dandy washi tape. And how this relates to current events is the illegal immigration. Now, I will not get into why or why not. I, I do or do not support it. But I will still say that the immigrants stand up for it and they have become stronger and more powerful and they've all joined forces to get rid of the immigration laws and anything that any current presidential candidates are saying like we're gonna kick all the illegal immigrants out or whatever they're standing up against that and they're becoming stronger and they're actually a force to be reckoned with right now for the you know, presidential candidates. But you know, a question is, to make you think a little bit, why should they be kicked out if the North America and South America started on immigration? And then my sixth life lesson and my final one is all of the sad times in your life will lead to happier ones. And this is because Sophia was very distressed because of William's passing. And there was no hope to America at that point. America had so many losses against Britain. And they were losing things, whether it was soldiers, weapons, money, just like that. But that eventually led to American victory and freedom. And I can really relate to this one because I know sometimes in your life will be awful. You will feel like not doing anything or binge eating or just crying your eyes out. Especially me being a very sensitive person and hmm, overcoming that has led to happier times in my life and a happier future before me. And those are some life lessons from the Revolutionary War. Thank you.